Hey guys, Kyle with MTG Freeway, um, and today I will be opening the intro pack decks, and this will be my first one. I will be opening the Tamir one, the Tamir Avalanche um, based basic deck, and yeah, um, let's see what these decks have in it, and see what two the two packs have for the for the deck to, that actually in it. Yeah, and then in the deck a thing, of course, you get the little intro deck and. The two packs of Tarkir to see what it comes with. And then you get, of course, the rule reference card for new players. And then you get the cons of Tarkir, like little poster thing that tells you about the game and what and what's in the deck list, stuff like that. All right, guys, let's skim through the deck, see what's inside the Tamir deck. And, yeah, um, I don't know what the deck lists are, but um, let's just look through it and hope, yeah. So in the deck, you get an Avalanche Tusker. Um, it costs five. It says whenever it attacks, target creature defending player controls blocks it. This combat available. It's a six four. Not bad. You have an Icy Blast. Tap X target creatures. Ferocious. If you control a creature of power four or greater, those creatures don't untap. Um, you got some Elvish Mystics here for some mana fixing. Hair of the Wilds. Um, Death Touch with Ferocious, it gets plus one, plus one. If you control a creature, um, you got some Bear Bears, you got some Rune Call Bears. Um, Ice Feather Haven, flying with Morph of Three. When it's turned face up, you may return another target creature to its hand. Um, you got more bears, Al Alpine Glizzly Bear Bears. Uh, you got some Vanilla four, four, four threes, some Summit Prowlers. Uh, you got a Pine Walker with Morph. When it's turned face up, untap that creature. Um, let me see here. You got Thundering Giant, the Hasty Dude. You got Bears Companion, make some bears. Uh, Glacial Stalkers. So basically, this deck is just beefy dudes and then attack with the beefy dudes, stuff like that. So not bad if you like that sort of stuff. And of course, No Horn Riders, some Woolly Loxodons. And then your mana fixing, you got two Frontier Bouviacs. You got the Gain Lands, Highlands, Swiftwater Cliffs, Thornwood Falls. You got your base basics, your forests, your islands, your mountains. And then now we go into instant sorcery spells. You got um, Stubborn Denial, Counter Target Creature Spell, has Ferocious. You got some Savage Punches, uh, Titanic Growth, always good pumping your creatures. You got a Force Away, a Lightning Strike, Tamir Banners, uh, Raise, Roar of the Challenge, All Creatures Block, and the Ferocious, um, Dragon Grip, a Tamir Charm, Tamir Charm's always good, and then a Windstorm. So yeah, basically this Tamir deck is all just play big beefy creatures, um, ramp into them, and kill your opponent with that. So, um, people that are new to Magic, I would recommend it because um, it's just a deck that's just in your face, play beefy creatures, and like go all at it at your opponent. So yeah, um, that's the Tamir deck. Now let's open our two packs of Tarkir to see what would go good in, into the, the actual deck itself. Um, yeah, anyways, that was a car outside of my my house, if you heard the loud noise. Um, but anyways, um, we have, looks like Barrage Boulders might be decent. Um, doesn't look like anything actually is good for this so far. Maybe another Swiftwater Clifts, another Tuscolossodon, um, Winter Flame possibly. Um, yeah, and then... And then our rare is Howl of the Horde. Uh, two colorless and a red. Next turn, you cast an in-store spell sorcery copy of that spell. Um, and it has raid. If you attack your creature with turn, uh, you may cast or you may copy that spell an additional time. You may choose new targets. So basically, you can copy uh, this spell three times. But it's not really good for the deck, I don't think, because you don't really have much burn in the deck. So... Yeah, you already heard from me which cards I think would have been decent for the deck. And now we go into here with this pack. Um, Whirl, Whirlwind Adept is probably okay for the deck. Um, Woolly Loxodon, you could add another one of those. Um, let me see here. Mystic of the Hidden Way might be good. Another Summit Prowler, yeah, for the deck. Um, maybe a River Wheel Aerialist, maybe. Flyer. Um... Let me see here, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Um, that would actually be great for the deck. Uh, okay, yeah. 
um, Sarkon the Dragon Speaker. Um, add that little thing to the in, uh, intro deck now, can we? Yeah, three colorless and two red. That would definitely work with here. Plus one, it becomes a 4-4 four, four, uh, red dragon creature with flying indestructible. Um, yeah, minus three just deals four damage to target creature. And then minus six, you get an emblem with beginning of your up draw step, draw two cards, and at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, that would definitely again, be put in the deck. Um, okay, and then we got a foil naturalize. Always nice little flavor here with the new art and all that but yeah um uh we got a foil naturalized out of this a sarkon and then a howl of the horde um but yeah um you saw what cards i thought would actually go good with the um with the intro deck but yeah you got these three hell of the horde sarkon and a foil naturalized but yeah Seems like decent cards would be put into the deck. But anyways, yeah, um, I keep getting good pulls. <sighs> wow. Um, make sure you uh, follow, uh, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, give my Google Plus some love, and make sure you also subscribe to my channel because um, I'm start trying to get this thing going. And at 100 subscribers, I will actually do a contest where I'll be giving away a uh, giving away a gift and I will also be do, uh, doing my channel updates video soon letting you know what I'm going to be doing with the channel but yeah that was uh, one of five of the intro decks and I'll be back with the other four soon and all right talk about awesomeness right there all right guys see you in a bit